I have a new video for you guys because as you know, I have been going hard on the family channels for some time and because I've been coming for them, some of them have reached out and DM'd me and today I want to go into my DMs with you guys and talk about some of the messages from some of these YouTube mamas who have reached out to me. Some have been nice, some have spilled tea, some have tried to come for me and today I am going to show it all. So let's get into it. <laughs> So obviously today's video is going to be very different than any video on my channel because sometimes I share DMs with you guys, sometimes I don't, but today I have a handful of DMs from a handful of people who I want to share with you guys and talk through because it's kind of wild when someone who is huge messages me because I just feel like I'm the little old channel over here and I've just grown so much in this last year that when someone big messages me, I'm like, wait, hold up, like how does my video put a dent in anyone's life? But I want to go through some of the these DMs. Some are lighthearted, some are not, and we can just talk through them and kind of gossip. So let's go ahead and start with our first YouTube mom who recently messaged me for my birthday. First off, Erin Williams is a YouTube mom who has been on Big Brother before and she's pretty controversial. She has a bunch of subscribers, 360,000, and she really got her fame from the reality TV show and then brought that onto YouTube. But since being on YouTube, she's been pretty problematic, especially when it comes to being insensitive towards race and the Black Lives Matter whole situation. Like, if you want to learn about Erin Williams, go check out my video on her because it's a work of art. But anyways, she reached out to me and I just wanted to start off with a lighthearted one because she said, happy birthday Sloan with a heart. And I think it's really funny because she sent this at a time where she was hanging out and drinking with some friends. And I feel like she was definitely talking about me with her friends or something because why would she reach out? How did she know it was my birthday? It was really odd, but I think it is just, yeah. A moment and thank you Erin Williams for the happy birthday message. I'll have to look up when your birthday is so I can wish you one as well. Like literally that's going to be my reply back to her and yeah a lot of the times I don't reply to YouTube moms because I just don't even know what to say and I feel like sometimes people try to act nice and then they'll switch up and try to like flip it. I don't know I'm just like very paranoid when it comes to that but let's move on to our next YouTube mommy. So you guys may or may not know who the Ciccone Jolies are, and honestly, I'm still having issues pronouncing that name. Like, I literally looked it up just two seconds ago. Ciccone <laughs> Jolie. Yeah, okay, Ciccone Jolie. So... I don't know if I'll ever get that right, but anyways, the mom, Anna, I actually talked about her in my video about Micah Stauffer because she, you know, actually kind of defended Micah Stauffer and she spilt some tea in her DMs with me because I guess that she saw that I mentioned her in my video. So she reached out to me and I found that really interesting and I'm just going to go ahead and read it for you guys because um, I want to hear your take on this, like seriously. Okay, it starts off and she says, Hey there, I just want to reach out because I saw the video you posted about Micah and the people who are defending her. I'll be totally honest with you, I dislike the drama channels and I came upon yours on my timeline a while back and you did a video on Eugenia and I actually really liked what you had to say and you made some fair points. As someone who has suffered with NED for a long time and fully recovered, it resonated with me. I also understand that you went through something similar and I'm really sorry for that. So she actually has seen my channel, which is very interesting. I'm like, oh my gosh, what? And she said, anyway, I thought, you were actually pretty cool. You have beautiful eyes, by the way, which is thank you, Anna. Um, and yes, I was a little sad you included me in the Micah video, but I understand why. And I even laughed out loud at your Chanel shoes comment. Oh my gosh, because in that picture, she was wearing Chanel's shoes. And uh, she said, please understand that I don't know Micah very well. She stayed at my house for three nights back in March in 2019. I thought she was a nice person, but I don't know what happened. Let's go to the next DM because honestly, I, I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> okay, next one. I feel like almost a little, I don't know. Should I not be sharing these? I have no idea. Um, wait, what did she say? I don't even know. Maybe that's what she ended. She just, I don't know what happened with Huxley because I'm not that familiar with the details. It was as much of a shock for me as anyone else. Honestly, it's really hard to know how to react to such things, especially when you're in the public eye. Which, I don't know. Do you feel like she's trying to save herself by messaging me and be like, you know, don't do a video on me. I don't know, but um, I'm trying to just, let's hear her out. 
Anyway, look, I just wanted to say, hey, and actually, I really like you. I'm sad if you don't like me, but that's okay. I guess I deserve it for being an influencer, but please know my husband and I started vlogging before we had kids, and we actually resent the term family channels. She said recent, but I think it's, is that the same spelling? I don't know. Our children's happiness is the most important thing to us, and we would never do anything to hurt them. We're incredibly privileged to be able to afford nice things for them, but we pour all of our money into our trust funds for them and try to make as beautiful a childhood for them as possible because because we didn't have that and if you don't agree with what we do that's okay which um I feel like again I haven't really said anything about her so it was really random just to get this in my inbox but she had more to say so <laughs> she then uh okay so I messaged her back and I was like um, I don't really know about your family channel, but pretty much you're not the worst one that I've ever seen. Probably why I haven't like talked about you yet, because there are other people like Micah and even a, a family channel that I can't even legally speak about that is mentioned here. You probably can figure it out, but shh. And anyways, I brought that up. I was like, I don't really know you yet, but like, <laughs> I would say, stay away from Micah, stay away from this other lady. And she says, I don't know who that lady is, um, but I did watch some of your videos on Micah and I was shocked. I didn't know a lot of the things that you said and I felt terrible that we were actually catfished by her. I don't know. And I was like, oh my gosh, catfish. Like she's using terminology up in here. She said, thank you. I don't mind if you talk about me in the future. And I understand, um, I don't want you to take anything down, but at the moment the trolls are coming for us because we recently made public that our son Eduardo likes to wear dresses and they're saying that we're like using him for views but what they don't know is that he's just living his best life and I always ask for his and his older sister's consent before I post anything online. Anyway I actually enjoy your content and I think you're cool and I agree that people need to be held accountable for what they do. I guess it just makes me uncomfortable because we've been accused of things that aren't true but I get it and that was actually our last DM but I do want to show you a picture of their son. Yes this is their son. I blacked out his face but he is also on the left hand side and he does wear dresses and I thought that was something interesting that she brought up because um I was thinking like was she going to say that maybe I was going to bring that up or try to use it against her which when I actually got this DM I went to get my hair cut and I actually got my hair cut like what like I don't know a week ago or something and when I brought it up to her she was kind of like oh I don't know how I feel about that because she's a very like I would say liberal person but when she when I brought it up to her she was like you don't know what that means for him, this little boy like long term like it's different if a boy wants to express their like femininity but it's also like you are shaping the person who they are like before they even know who they are yet so it would suck I guess if he didn't want this to be online one day because it's too late but um I don't know I don't really know what to say about Anna I do feel like it was kind of random that she reached out to me but what do you guys think do you think like she was trying to kind of stop me before I made a video about her honestly she hasn't really been on my radar but like her messaging me would put her on my radar but like Anna you don't have to message me like don't freak out I'm just doing a moment where I share a bunch of DMs. So let's go ahead and move on to our next YouTube mom who has messaged me. Okay, so don't click out of this video yet because I have a crazy story for you in like two minutes, but let's quickly talk about boring Brittany and baby because we've talked about her a bunch on my channel and she has close to half a million subscribers, so she is very popular, but I've never actually released the DMs that she has messaged me before. I've talked about them and the reason why I haven't released them is because she's not necessarily mean to me in the DMs. I just feel like she's being like the nice type of manipulative and that she would be mean to me. Like no matter what I say back to her, she will make it into something that's not, I don't know, maybe that's just me being immature and not knowing her. But like when I read these, that's the interpretation I got and I just didn't want to reply and I don't want to feel like a bad person here. And um, so that being said, she messaged me, hey Sloan, I just want to reach out to you since it's been brought to my attention that you're making commentary video about me. Just wanted to reach out and say that if you have anything you want me to clear up, I'd be happy to do so. And she sent me proof that she donated to MDA, which is a charity that she claimed she was donating to at some point and people called her out for it. If anything, I would love to provide you with the screenshot, pretty much the receipt, trying to tell me that, you know, she did donate and that all the, you know, rumors are false, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go watch my video on it. But then she messaged me again, and at first it was kind of a nicer tone, but then later on she messaged me, I just want to let you know how much you've hurt me and my family. I really wish you would have reached out to me first before making those videos. And this is after she posted her screenshot of her DMing me on her story, pretty much trying to show her fans like, hey, like, come for this guy because he's talking about me and here is his page and this is me reaching out to him, telling him like I, you know, donated and everything. And 
I was sent so many people from that. It was extremely scary. Actually, like a lot of horrible things happened, and I don't even want to talk about them because she even mentions them in this next message. Hey Sloan, just wanted to reach out after the followers reach out to me about you getting doxxed and your address was leaked, blah blah blah. Um, coming from someone that has had this happen, I would not want this to, you know, happen to you, and I'm sorry. Which I think is very kind and very mature of her, but it was just I just don't even feel like replying to her. Sometimes I feel like replying to someone is just not an obligation. Like if you want to, you can. If you don't want to you don't have to because also that's just another world to me like I feel like I'm a commentator I am an outsider I am not in this bubble so even this video alone is weird for me to make because I don't like normally like influencers to message me I mean it's interesting to see what they have to say but it's also like a weird game that people try to play with their power and trying to manipulate people into thinking something else um and another just a quick shout out you know her husband did dm me at some point when i was calling them out for having their whole like divorce rumors and he you know pretty much confirmed that low-key but i made a whole video about that and that situation was crazy but not as crazy as this one. Oh my gosh i told you guys it was gonna be a couple minutes but so uh, this i don't even know if i want to tell this that's the type of thing. So anyways, I I, I will. I will. Because it's, it's not that big of a video. It's not that big. Okay, anyway. So you guys know who Brittany Boren Leach is. Because she is a YouTuber who I have talked about on my channel. Pretty much, I talked about how her mom was rumored to be married pretty much to her ex-husband. So her ex-husband married her mother. And her ex-husband and her have a son together. So now her son is her step. Dad, or her son is her uncle her ex-husband's her stepdad and yeah it's just really like obviously that's very confusing and messy and you can go watch my video on that situation after um her like brother's girlfriend reached out to me and freaked out she reached out to me and told me you know i'm not suing you i didn't know that girl was going to message you pretty much like retracting anything she said and actually she was very kind in her message i really felt like i could tell britney's like energy through this and I feel like I actually like Britney more just because I read this and also I, I just feel bad for her because who would want their mom to be married to their ex-husband like that just sounds tragic and especially when it was confirmed to be true um I know we're talking about a lot of influencers here and who have messaged me but I want to just take a moment because some people message a lot of people message me sometimes like people who are related to certain people some people who aren't some people who are neighbors some some who are friends some who are um related to the mom of the situation and in this situation someone reached out to me and i was able to confirm that they are in fact close to the family close enough that the information they gave me is legitimate and they told me that the situation is true and i do have a couple of dms i will show you guys so pretty much they reached out to me and said hey i'm not sure if you'll see this but um your video on Brittany Boren and her mom's relationship with Corey is uh terrible and we are disgusted as a family they the people they know are disgusted and um they also reached out and told me a little bit more about the whole situation I asked them was Brittany like shocked does she even really care about the situation she told me that Brittany actually found out she caught Tiffany and talking to her ex-husband so obviously that is really traumatic um she also talked about out, oh my gosh about how like they weren't sure if anyone was ever going to find out and how they were pretty much shocked that I put it together and honestly I cannot take credit for all that because someone messaged me they had a bunch of things uh, I added a few other things but they like really had the information and it's a crazy story that obviously is really upsetting and it's true and actually it turns out like the the girl who messaged me is like on the side of the mom like the girl who freaked out and it's just a very messy situation and honestly i don't even want to be in the middle of it so please none of you guys come message me anymore because it is way too much and hey guys i just want to pop in here really quick and let you guys know that after i filmed that video someone else actually messaged me someone else who was close to this whole situation and confirmed it again so now two people and i'm sorry i'm throwing up so many pictures of britney i just i don't want these dms to link these people to her because they have reached out to me and i just don't want to cause more drama like i already feel like i just this whole thing is just so crazy you know so like i don't i don't know so i i have like I want to release the DMs, but I just also want to protect the privacy. You know, I, I understand the importance of protecting privacy.
Honestly, Brittany does not deserve that. And when I was speaking to this person about the situation, they talked about how gross it was and how Brittany really went through it and how, like, the family is pretty divided over it and how Tiffany, like, the mom is just not really even, like, um, involved and how it's just, it's been a couple years. It's been, like, what, six years, five years? I don't know. It's been a while. Um since it's happened it's not been like a year thing so honestly it is shocking that it hasn't been really sooner because it is out there it is like pretty much public knowledge and she's an influencer but it got out and i can't believe like my channel was the first one to talk about it but we'll see if it ever like goes anywhere again i just feel really bad for britney because like can you imagine your mom doing that to you like at that point like that's not even really your true mom like sh who does that to their daughter like takes their mans and now raises their child like as their step like as stepmom but like also grandma it's just again that one makes my head hurt, but I'm glad that I at least didn't spread fake news because when I made the video, I made it very clear that it was a rumor, that it was an allegation, and even though I'm going to legally say it is now, I also got a bunch of messages from someone confirming it who I know is involved. So, that was a lot, guys. I know. Um, I also have a lot of messages from just random influencers I've talked about in the past, too, just not family channel related. So if you guys want me to go through those sometimes, like, I had, like, a rapper message me named Cupcake. I had random people message me. So if you ever want me to go through my DMs again, Slim goes through his DMs, let me know because I am an open book. And even though um, some of these YouTubers may not know it, you guys know this because you've been following me for some time. And I am always letting you know what actually happened because I'm just literally a normal person over here just like going through the motions of life like I can't even believe these people have even messaged me so I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below about every single person and let me know what you guys think I will see you in a new video soon bye friends